Dragon Chess. It's a very enjoyable variant, and I especially like the way that it's laid out. It's, um, it's big, you know. It's not sure how many inches that is, but it's a, a wide, like a, it's a full chessboard here. Then there's an additional set of squares around here, plus these little um, pockets over here. So the board itself is a bit bigger. And of course, dragon chess, the big thing about this is there's these dragons, okay? They're fierce looking. Um, the variant is very easy to learn. There's, n there's nothing complicated about it. You've got your whole array You've got your whole array of regular chessmen. Um, these are, by the way, in the uh, familiar Austrian style, Renaissance style here. You may have seen chessmen like this. Um, I used to have a set like it back in the 70s. And they're still around. Um, they're weighted and felted. You know, not too heavy, but you know, they're just pleasant enough to play on. And then, of course, the dragon. It's pretty big, you know, comes in a larger larger figure than the others, and of course that's because the dragon is the novelty here. Now all you have to know about this is, first of all, they're set up on this board, which is bigger, and has the pockets, but secondly, the dragon, the dragon's move is very easy to understand. It moves like a queen, just straight um, forward, backward, sideways, or diagonal, but it's limited to three squares. Okay, so from here the dragon could capture that pawn, okay? Boom. So from here it could go, you know, here, 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 whatever. It's it's just like a queen, but only can go th three squares. Now, what that means is it's not going to go shooting across the board immediately when the game starts, but as the game progresses, it's there's just going to be this huge attacking force that each player has, and it, the dynamics just become incredibly intense. So that's all you need to know. You know, you have castling and you have capturing en passant and everything. Of course, when the play starts, the pawns don't, you know, come and face each other right away because there's two more squares across. So as I was saying, once again, everything starts a little slower, but quickly... Uh, or eventually just turns into a madhouse of power on the board. Let's see. Let's just play this little game out. Okay, okay. I'm playing white and I'm playing against you. You're playing black over there. Okay. So I'll try to take advantage of the fact that, you know, I've got the full perception of the board and have had time to contemplate what this uh, dragon variant can do. I don't know if you should try to play, you know, the dragon variant of the Sicilian in this game, you know, it might make sense since there are dragons, but it might not make any sense at all. So I'm bringing my dragon out, right? I'm actually threatening, well, no, your bishop is defended, but I'm threatening to take your knight and then take your bishop, so what are you going to do about it? Bump my bishop? Ha! Huh. Well, I can bump my bishop all the way back here, right? Because there's a square over here. Cool. Uh, you're probably going to castle or something silly little thing like that. Okay, now I know where to find your king, okay? I'm going after him, man. I don't, I don't care about this. There's no no time for being careful in this game. So you should get your dragons out sooner, man. I'm telling you. Dragons are coming out. Um, let's see. I would think that, you know, although uh, the chess player generally knows not to bring a queen out prematurely, I think that uh, it doesn't exactly hold for the dragons because, wait, where can I move this safely here? Okay. Because the dragon is going to have more power and is more threatening when it's over on the other side of the board. Um, seems like you're not taking full advantage of that, but oh, here you come. See, one, two, three, you can go that far, right? Okay, you have to start looking around, see, and nothing's threatening anything. I'm not used to seeing dragons on the board either, but, you know. So let's see. Suppose we just make a bunch of quick moves, like we don't really know how to play, but we're in a hurry, and you kind of want to bring your rook out like that. I don't know why, but, you know, we just start moving forward. Dragons and dragon. Dragon can't jump, by the way. It's got to have a free uh, channel to move along. Um, what are you going to do? You're probably going to 
No, I don't want to do that yet. Let's see. Where's your other bishop? On the oh, it's way over there, right? Um, I don't know. Of course, the dragon, since it's got its limited mobility, it could possibly be easier to trap in some situations. Hey, let's get this guy out. Yeah, come on. Dragon power. Uh-oh. What did I say about trapping the dragon? Uh, run away. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, you can take whatever. Take dragons. Uh, don't trade dragons. That ruins the whole point of the game. God. I don't know. You're no fun to play with. Did I just take... No, no, it was your turn, right? See, so, yeah, I'm a little confused here because I'm not used to playing against you. And, you know. Well, I was going to play a whole game, but that would be ridiculous. Anyway, you can see this is a beautiful game. Let me just show you how it all co comes together. It comes in this box here, huge box. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a big box, but it's even a bigger set here. this um, nice little square in the middle of the box to put the pieces in. Now you should notice this about the board. It's got a border around the parameter of a regular chess board, so you can just play regular chess, although this is the white square, so you're going to have to, uh, you know, play it that way. Now do these fold back? Yeah, well, yeah, these can fold back, so you could play like that. I know it's a little bit of pressure, yeah. So you could play like that, too. Anyway, you actually have to fold the board up like this in order to get it to fit inside this box. Um, I don't know about you, but I think this board is really well done. I mean, you know, it's, it's good, strong cardboard, very glossy, but it's... Um, uh, very nicely designed. I mean, it has a very medieval feel. And these pieces with that kind of ivory look it feels rich, you know, even though it's you know simple, modern, very it feels like a rich old you know, medieval spook. Uh, the instructions come in, you know, English and uh, what else do they come in? French. But, you know, like I said, you only have to learn one thing. You know how to play chess. You got it. So, check it out. You can find it on our website, ancientchess.com. Um, you know, we'll give it to you for a good price. Very attractive. Makes a great gift, you know, because it looks great besides being a lot of fun for hours and hours. Something engaging for the whole family. All right. Dragon Chess.